hi everyone so i'm back to share another journal with you uh this journal is a fabric covered uh just a vintage style journal um it's got lots of florals and things in it um the journal measures eight and a quarter by four and a half has one signature and 72 pages front and back it will be listed in my shop if you're interested and that's the fabric um, which has been sewn onto three layers of cardstock which is I think each cardstock is uh, one, 180 GSM and one of them is coffee dyed. <clears throat> so the front I've done a topper and it's got fabric, it's got corrugated card, it's got cheesecloth, it's got this image that's from Artie Mays um the word is also from Artie Mays she's got a, a freebie sheet um and it's got loads of words and you get them in ovals and things like that as well uh if I haven't said that's all stitched we've got eyelets organs a ribbon as a closure let's go inside so that's the journal um used all oh, kits from various different people oh, I need to trim that off um this is from uh, antique papery and i've had to use my inkjet um i couldn't get it to work the other day because i've um i need a part for my laser printer and it's out of stock and it's going to take a couple of weeks to for it to arrive i think it's due to all the um like the eu and the brexit malarkey i think things come in and out of the country now are just taking a little bit longer at the moment and COVID on top of it um so anyway <clears throat> i got the inkjet out and um boy is it slow <laughs> it's so slow i'm so thankful that i kept it um and um i did think at one point i, I wasn't be, i wasn't going to work but i cleaned the heads and everything and it's working fine so what i did with the images is i used on some of them not all of them um i've sealed them with um I'm going to show this and I will link it below as well. Stains by Patty Pockets. The reason I done that is because I just, um, it actually lifted the colour a little bit as well. It made it a little bit more vibrant. It gave it a vintagey feel and um, obviously I just want it to, to last a little bit longer because I know inkjets, they don't last forever, the images. And I'm not saying that they don't last, like, you know, they will last maybe 20 years or something like that, depending on how you keep them and store them and things like that. But if you've got sunlight coming onto them, I know that it changes the colours because I've got journals myself that I've left where the sun has like beamed on them and the colour has changed slightly. So I've done this um to seal the color anyway enough about that um i've used uh digitals again from artie may's uh cameo shop tsunami rose and i will just mention them all as i go through again this i sealed that and i liked how it came out um because like i said the the um inkjet isn't as vibrant obviously in color as my laser printer um so and i think my my eye caught that straight away because i've been using a laser printer for three years now and using the inkjet was a little bit of a shock <laughs> um uh these are from tsunami rose she's got a great collection out she's linked below um so go over and check it out it's a lovely ephemera collection and I'm actually going to make a little kind of folio, like a, an ephemera folio with one of, with some of these, um, uh, showcasing like a lot more of it. Um, these, I think are Cameo Shop or Christie Art Designs, one of the two. And this is my porch prints. We have a doily. These are from Artie Mays and I've backed them onto cardstock. Oops, a little bit bent. And again, I've used the patty pockets the stains by patty pockets on there this is some ephemera from the old design shop we've got another one here that's arty mace but two yeah two of them arty mace we've got uh this again the old design shop some crocheted trim uh this is one of arty mace's papers and it's i think it's from the floral collage um and i kind of mainly used i printed out a few of them sheets and i made all my pockets with that and again i used the patty pocket stains on that as well um inside here we have uh some ephemera from the old design shop which has just been coffee dice oops my hands don't want to work 
Okay. I think this might be uh, Christie Art Designs or uh, Cameo Shop Tsunami Rose. I love these colours. And this is Artie Mays. Some more journaling pages. This is um, Antique Papery. Another pocket using the Artie Mays paper. This is beautiful here. An Artie Mays tag. These are from her calendar tag collection. Another Artie Mays tag. Again, Christie Art Designs or Cameo Shop. And Tsunami Rose. Two pages to write on. Another. Oh yeah, that was another thing. These, because I'd printed them out onto just normal coffee dyed paper not coffee dyed um copy paper copier paper um you could see the images through the other side so i sewed them i glued them and sewed them and stained them <laughs> uh so that it's a nice double uh thicker pocket and obviously you don't see um any of this image on the other side um pocket here my porch prints Artie Mays, <clears throat> Artie Mays again, and like I said, everything's been all been sealed for longer lasting uh, tsunami rolls, doily, music paper, little tag, some paper from sorry there's a lot of shouting going on and i always have been nosy listening to what was being shouted um i hope you didn't hear it <laughs> um the old design shop uh another pocket again that's got the patty the uh, stains by patty pockets on it i like it because it's it's made it even though it's a nice kind of fresh color it's made it like you know vintage arty maze arty maze tsunami rolls and arty maze some crocheted trim, the centre of the signature, lots of journal room, another pocket, collection of tags, Artie Mays, Artie Mays, Artie Mays and Cameo Shop or whoever. <coughs> Says Joy from My Porch Prints, another little um, calendar tag there. Flip, I did actually print this out on thicker um, paper and but my printer doesn't seem to like it it was leaving um because it was printing with the border there was black lines that seemed to be catching so that's why i stopped using that and then started just doing this instead um it just takes a little bit longer but i don't mind um keeps me busy tag another tag a um, library pocket it's got some shimmer on that as well and a little tag a corner tuck it says magical a tag it's got some shimmer on there as well another tag here and a library card i don't know who they're from actually so i got gesso on me because i gessoed the um the corrugated card for the front cover for the topper what's the journal room another side tuck here this is the um old design shops so like a french letter and we have a journal card uh, this is from Tsunami Rose. And another tag in there. Another little calendar journal card. And another little flip. And that's just on there. Sorry about my arm coming right over. <clears throat> another journal card just popped on there. A doily. Made a little pocket. Put some lace here. So. I think I used that word already, did I? Maybe, possibly. Pretty. <clears throat> um, tag. Another tag. Library card. 
and another little tag and that is the back There's some nice markings there from the coffee dine so that's the journal i like how it's kind of staggered when you look inside it because of the the layers and i think because of the thickness of the paper that i printed on as well it just gives it that nice look hope you can see that no the lighting doesn't look really good in here but there we go so that is the journal like i said this will be listed in my shop if you're interested um i hope you're having a great weekend and um if you have any questions just ask and i will speak to you all soon so thanks for watching bye